The following contents of this track have the ability to disassemble the brainwashed minds that have been programmed by the government and the media to interpret things how they are presented without the ability to search deeper past the surface to interpret and inform opinion of their own. So if you are not able to appreciate this art in its purest form, please press stop and do not listen on. But if you know someone who can appreciate this, please pass it on. <laughs> Thank you. What's <laughs> happening, world? J.O. on the track. Reporting live from the Kush Castle. You know what that is, if you've been tuned in before. Welcome. I'm at the red light, waiting on my green light, so LJ that I can Nichols. go. Die. Moving so consistently through these beats to the streets, and I heard you doing the same, nigga. Tell me how you working. Show me what you really hold and tell me how you move it. Is your product solid? You can see that Royal Highness is. We suspect you're lacking substance any given time A few hundred pounds on us when we moving through the streets moving. Allow me to continue on with the simile And break down the subject matter at hand on the beat So that we can properly develop chemistry, chemistry. Yeah, I'm talking work, moving it fluidically, fluidically. <laughs> Hey man, you stupid <laughs> Damn, that was perfect timing. Shout out, filthy Nick. Cutting up on the boys. Royal you niggas send a shell to low. Follow proper protocol so that you can always move in the right direction. 411. Hit the line, let us know. Hopefully, you know where to get the crack. For your habit set, chances are you know it'll be us and not them. Oh, yeah, it's potent too. Found to move through your bloodstream. Cause you know that be the main route. To your heart in the channel your desires there really ain't no limitations on your production so go on and place your order and if we can't produce what you need chances are we got a plug we ain't hurting neither should you be look around there's plenty outlets to get that power from unlike yours in my mind there are no restrictions on the common definition of a drug a drug can be anything that delivers the euphoric feeling from the second that you hear about it, see it, then decide and try it, figure out what you desire, and overall existence to escape whatever it becomes, deal with it on your own. On your own. Good or bad, you gotta face it with your good judgment Cause even licensed doctor can prescribe something incorrect To quote, correct what's wrong with you, end quote I reported that like a fat dub Prime example, 1-800-BAD-DRUG on your TV screen Now I ask, have you or any one of your loved ones Been affected by this topic at hand? Delivered to you by a simple man Since what you're going through requires something new to fill a voice So these drugs served as a main course in disguise Just to trigger something that appeals to you Ain't no doubt in my mind that what I'm chefing up is dope So I had to test the market Something in the atmosphere made me hot So I dove in the booth to cool me off After I arrived at the water The same one that everyone passes by Passes by
crazy because like lately I've just been living whatever comfortable. Well, I always do that, but I like to write it down instantly. But lately I've just been going off what I have already in my phone and just letting it be talked to me and, and go off of whatever it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I had already had this track done, but you know, Zach came in the booth fooling around on the vine. I don't really watch vines like that. Somebody else throw it in my face. You know what I'm saying? And I saw the video. And, you know, I thought it was funny at first. You know, it was. You know, it's still funny. I laugh at that part, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, like, man, this dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, something might be wrong, but I don't know. That's just me, kind of. You know, playing it safe before I make a assumption or whatever conclusion and just entertain whatever it is that's being presented to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we can't always get involved and engulfed in everything that's presented to us. That's why I'm preaching this talk to just, you know, properly digest whatever is presented to you and interpret it to, to the way that you understand it, no matter how it is presented to you. You know what I'm saying? Just like the homework that you get, you know, from the lectures, you know what I'm saying? And you might not understand it in class, but you might break it down more and more and you get it help you master that course, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, things like that, man, like, you can take anything from anywhere and apply to any situation more than likely if you don't seen it before, because you, you're not able to recognize different things in that situation, man. this is just me and my ideology, and, you know, my 25 years of living, you know what I'm saying, I think it's pretty just simple and common sense, but also, I don't like I don't even like the term common sense anymore because sense is really not common. You know, you got a lot of people that's either book smart and no rare sense. I'm going to call it rare sense. and Or they have a lot of rare sense and no book smarts. You know, I'm kind of the type of person that has both. I'm not the smartest person educationally wise, but I'm quite intelligent because I've you know, educated myself and all of that from all this type of stuff that I've witnessing things of that nature, man. I just want to be heard. Like, people tell me I should write a book and, oh, you should have studied, you know, psychology and all that kind of stuff. And really, they ain't interesting, but it's just like, dang, what I'm about kind of explains why they say that. I've been entertained the thought of writing a book, but I don't know. I'm a jumbled person, really, just random, kind of hard to organize what I do, bad with time management and things of that nature. I'm, very acceptable of my flaws now that I find myself. You know, I used to hate a lot of things about myself, but no, you know, probably like 1% of hate lives inside of me, and that's only for things and not people. Behaviors and thought processes and things like that. That's why I'm going so hard with this music and my message and our message and Royal Highness and things of that nature, man. Just, just gotta breathe life into each other because, you know, different things can live on that you left behind, you know, if it's strong enough, like pop. <laughs> Let me not even get into that and talk you guys' heads off, but yeah, just take the time and listen to me, man. And if you like what I'm about, man, reach out to me seriously, man. I really would like to come to your city, wherever you are, and just have this conversation with you in the form of a concert or whatever, and share this with you, and share this energy with you, and just keep on breathing positive energy and leave that behind so that you can go on and do whatever it is you want to do. I just ask that it's something positive in you weigh the pros and the cons and whatever before you go on with it. Because we gotta affect the world in a positive place, man. It's just an ugly place we live in. You know. R. P. the homie Rock, he is the reason. The real reason why I started doing this. He really helped me unlock this. You know, it's kinda ironic that I'm releasing this on Valentine's Day. I came to that conclusion that I you know, I dedicate everything with this music to him. His family too, man. They're cool people. Valentine's family, I'm releasing this on Valentine's Day. People talking about I don't have no Valentine and all that kind of stuff. You don't need that, man. I don't even really celebrate Valentine's Day. Because if you rock with the person that you rock with, you know, every Valentine's Day comes a couple times a week or a month. That's just my ideology from my perspective. It don't have to be yours. Don't disrespect it, though. I respect everyone's point of view. I may not agree with it. It may be idiotic to me, but I'm able to see where you're coming from and appreciate it respectively decline or collaborate and you know whatever whatever and all of that but you know rest in peace to Rocco Valentine you know I hope that you all enjoy this on your Valentine's Day and be safe in everything that you do please stay tuned to Royal Highness Royal Highness consists of 
Zach Jones, Zach Jones. Wiz, Wiz. Filthy, Nick. Filthy Nick, Crash, Crash and myself. myself. You know, you probably ain't gonna hear too much music from Crash, man. He's always on the go. We can't get him to sit still. He's on a couple of songs, but he's Crash is a busy man. You know what I mean? But we all come together in our time when we get chances to. That's why we may drop music on you in abundance, or we may just drop it periodically because we get together when we can we all have busy lives and i understand you have busy lives but just please welcome us into your lives with the open mind and don't rule us out because we are not mainstream artists don't be closed-minded don't you at all be closed-minded ever from the time that you hit this track don't be closed-minded anymore think differently love you all enjoy your valentine's day love cut the track filter let me finish updating this ig